Our next car is an MG. Frank McAvoy again. And it's an MG Midget. As you think from Peter Murphy's, which was an MGB, which had a slope back and a soft top MG Midget. Oh, my Frank McAvoy back in 1972 model. In lovely order as well. Now we have a Corolla K30. We had a K20 a minute ago. Now we have a K30, which was the one which uh, followed the K20. 1981, K Mike Curtin from Cranford Gorey, and it's the Cranford Vintage Club. They're very strong over there in North Wexford. So thank you very much, Mick, for bringing it. They have a big road run over there every year and big displays and all that. Now we have a local car here, even though it is a Wickler registration, a 2200 TC Rover, and it's owned by Des Foot Forest, and it's a 1974, and it's in the family since new, and it's a Wickler registered car, 1974 Rover 2200. There were several versions of this, and there's a couple of them here today, 3.5s and 2000 and so on. So this is a 2200 twin carburetor model, okay? It's owned by Des Foot in Morris, in the family since new. Now we have another MG Midget, a soft top and a chrome bumper one, and it's owned by Connor Sinnott from Enniscorthy County Wexford, a nice order too, an MG Midget, 1969. Our next one is a very, very rare car because these were weren't that popular in Ireland. They were out in the early 70s and 80s when we had Hillman Hunters and Sunbeam Vogues and so on. And this is the sports version of it. And the general Sunbeam Rapier they were sold as. And this one is owned by John Sinnott. And it's a 1970 model. They were complete with walnut dash and overdrive and a whole lot of extras. They were a Sunbeam Rapier based on the Hillman Hunter car. Now we have a similar, it's a Vauxhall Cavalier and more popularly known properly in Ireland as the Opel Manta rally spec car. Very nice order. It's owned by Luke Byrne from East Coast Classics in Arkwick on the Wicklow. So the Wicklow people are supporting as well today. All right, thank you very much. Luke Byrne from East Coast Classics in Arkwick. It's a Vauxhall Cavalier. Now we have a Ford Capri. And it's a 1977 Capri, the first of the Mark II Capris, you'd noted by the, the chrome bumper and the short bumper on the side, not the wrapper down bumper. 1977, 1.6, Jerborn from Court Town, River Chapel, Court Town. Thank you very much for coming. Now we have a car that was well known throughout the country, a very popular, a Mark II Cortina. And it is a 1300, one of the early ones, because you'll notice straight away if you look in, long gear stick in it, up the middle, not a column change, so it's actually a 67. Martina, owned by PJ Lawler, and the driver is Mick Lakes from Bagnell Sound. It's in lovely order. Well done, PJ and Mick. Thank you very much. Another Mark II Cartina, probably slightly more modern. It's a 1969 1600 E. I thought that when I saw it first. And it's owned by PJ Lawler, PJ Lawler, and it's owned by driven by James Lakes. Slightly different this one. Different wheels, stripe on the side, a bit more chrome around the doors, and a bit more poke under the bonnet. 1600 E executive model. A mini is our next car, 1983 1275 cc engine owned by James Lake and Seamus Egan is the driver and it's for sale at 1275 cc Mini Cooper, lovely order, thank you very much. Our next car is a rear wheel drive Toyota Starlet, all right, and a very nice little Starlet, it's for sale sign on the side of it, it's owned by Shane Farrell in Ballinkillen. These cars were on the market in Ireland from 79 to about 83 or 84 and they were a rear wheel drive started um, in very nice order. He's wide arches on it and so on. 1.3 engine and Shane wants me to say it's for sale again. He's even wearing a matching t-shirt.